So Vinny Curry is getting paid like the 10th best defensive end in football. And obviously, well, he's coming off a disastrous 2016 season, but it, it turns out, well, he, he might have had a valid excuse for his struggles in 2016. Now, uh, during an interview with WIP this past weekend, Vinny Curry revealed that he played through an MCL injury. Uh, now, uh, just just uh, I got I got the interview up right now. I I will uh, play uh, what Curry uh, said. Everyone talks about how do you see yourself in this defense here too? I definitely see myself striving. You know, um, I actually did the same thing as, as went down, um, messed my MCL up. But you know, I tried to, I tried to play through it, man. Where in the long run it ended up hurting me, but. Uh, this this is definitely going to be a better year, and um, everything has been working perfect so far. Vinny, when you look at the defensive line, so an interesting uh, revelation. You know, this is the first time any anybody's really heard of this. Uh, he in, he explained that he injured it during Week One against the Browns. Was on the injury report with a knee injury for the first three weeks of the season. Did not appear on the injury report after that. Now. Uh, going back to, to Curry and the contract, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to make it sound like, you know, I'm, I'm demeaning the injury or whatever, but I, this doesn't change my mind that this, this extension was a mistake. Uh, he's always struggled against the run. He can't stay on the field consistently because he can't stop the run. So unless, unless I see major strides in 2017 in terms of his run defense, I'm still going to think the extension was a mistake. So go out, you know, show to me that the MCL injury was a valid excuse in 2016. Prove to me that you can stop the run. That's been my thing with Vinnie Curry. You know, like, just stop the run. So, uh, yeah, so interesting information today. Uh, Kyle and I are going to be do doing a video later today around 4 o'clock on, uh, I, I guess, the, the whole Josh Jackson thing that, you know, we, we're going to have a little debate on it uh, about whether Josh Jackson going to get taken number one overall or not. I don't think he is. Kyle thinks he might. I think it's shenanigans and craziness. So, yeah. All right. All right. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you give Vinnie Curry a pass? I mean, I'll give him a pass. All right. I'll give him a pass, but you, you got to prove me wrong this year. I, I still don't think... You're that good. So just prove me wrong. You know, like, he's never consistently stopped the run. Never. Ever. Ever, ever. So unless you keep doing that, unless you do that, shit. And by the way, the Eagles, I mean, they, they go sign Chris Long. They get Derek Barnett in the draft. Clearly not a lot of confidence with Vinnie Curry moving forward. They're basically acknowledging that the extension was a mistake with those moves. So we'll see. We'll see what happens this season. Uh, OTAs start tomorrow. Um, I'll have a video later, maybe tomorrow on that, about why, because uh, you guys are going to hear a lot of stuff. And uh, basically, you know, they're without Pat. So, so basically, thing you read seriously. I mean, if you remember last year, like, you know, <laughs> last year Wendell Smallwood was, was like Marshall Falk and, uh, and, and Leotis McKelvin uh, look like the best player in camp at OTAs, according to Doug Peterson. So don't ever take anything uh, seriously with OTAs. But, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. Uh, I, I just posted a, a post on phillyinfluencer.com on this interview. Uh, so that's that. Vinny Curry played through an MCL injury in 2016. Interesting stuff. I'm out.